Hey guys, Paulie Howard for the card Saturday. College football from here on out, every Saturday is going to be enormous for the rest of the season. All these ranked teams are playing one another. The big matchup at 5 o'clock Pacific, LSU and Bama. Bama's won the last 400% chance of rain in Tuscaloosa. Can either defense slow down Fournette or Henry? I don't think so. If it happens, then it falls to Harris and Coker. Are these two quarterbacks good enough to make a play and win the game if the running game isn't there, and especially with the weather? I don't think so. Not impressed with Coker so far, although Harris has played well the last month. KT's right, though. He said it Wednesday on the radio show. Hasn't done it against great competition, although a good performance against the Gators at home. Can Gary Patterson keep it going? Bringing this young defense together after all those injuries. One touchdown allowed in their last seven quarters. On the road in Stillwater. They're playing games with this number, but let's just say it's five. As TCU enters the round robin now in the Big 12 with huge matchups coming up. I don't think a Big 12 team is going to go undefeated. See if uh, you figure Oklahoma State's going to get one of these teams because they get Oklahoma, TCU, and Baylor all at home. For the first time since they have been in the ACC, Florida State's double-digit dogs. Golson will go. Cook will go. Clemson, maybe they come out a little tight. They certainly remember what happened two years ago at home when they were beat by the Seminoles, 51-14. to See if Clemson can stay ranked number one. And two other games I want to point out. Boy, does this line stink. Michigan State is only five at Nebraska? How about that? They're coming off a bye, too, I believe. Nebraska has six losses. They couldn't wait to run Pelini out of town. Purdue just dropped a 50-burger on them, and they had one win on the season. The coach was on the hot seat, although they announced they're bringing him back. And Michigan State, a top-10 team with a hell of a coach and an NFL quarterback, is only five? Nebraska's going to lose eight games this year. That's something stinks about that line. Wow. And Iowa. I know Ken Thompson likes Indiana. A lot of other people on Indiana, Iowa Lane, seven on the road. Too much complaining from this group about the uh, and the fans about the first set of rankings. Too much complaining. Take care of business. Go undefeated and play Ohio State if that's the matchup in the Big Ten Championship game. Don't run your mouth and pit your chest just yet if you're Iowa. Time to tell you what I'm betting. We got the featured pro picks up at pregame.com. Two today. Ken Thompson, you heard Fezzik talking about it on the radio show Friday. His game of the year. Goes tonight, LSU, Alabama, terrific write-up. Check it out, a pick you must have. KT's game of the year in college. And Goodfellow, Pac-12, game of the month, and a bonus three-star in college football as well. Two guys you want to get on board with as they are uh, on a nice run. Two picks you must have up there at pregame.com. We're on a game today, early, early morning game in college football. We expect fireworks in this one. Good write-up from the pro here, handicapping the cappers. Paulie's pick from the pros. This is our trying to get our winning streak going. Hey, two in a row, parade tomorrow. Yeah, let's keep it going. Up 11 units since we joined pregame, and uh, we'll get it back. We are streaky. It's our uh, early morning selection here. Grab that for just $15, handicapping the cappers. Should be a lot of scoring in this one. And before I get out of here, as always, betting half unit on the free pick. Dave Koken on Hawaii. He knows this one. It's in our backyard, UNLV laying 9.5 at home. Chow out, new coach, making a lot of changes. Hawaii plus the 9.5, Reed Dave's full write-up and analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. I've ranted, now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We'll see you Sunday for the NFL on pregame.com.